Hello, in this lecture snippet I'd like to discuss the basic knowledge of a local area network, or just LAN for short. And this is the scope of network that most people refer to when they say the term network. Now a network is just two or more computers connected together for the purpose of sharing data. And when we talk about a local area network, what we are confining ourselves to is what we would find in our home or in our office. And so the local area network is the most basic and usually the most studied type of network there is for the fundamental knowledge of networking. So let's go ahead and begin by looking at a standalone computer. If I had a standalone computer I would not be networked at all and basically I could turn the computer on and run the applications that are on the computer and eventually I'm going to want to get to the point where I want to share data with another standalone computer. If I didn't have this local area network then I'd have to find somebody willing to take the data in some kind of removable device such as a flash drive and run the data over to the other computer transfer the data that way. Now that's actually got a technical term, it's called a sneaker net. We want to get away from sneaker nets and really utilize networking itself. And so what we'll introduce is a device called a switch. Now in the workplace or in an office, typically we'd have switches that would connect all of our computers together using ethernet cables. At home, you typically don't have a switch. At home, you typically use your router as a device that acts as a switch for all the computers you've plugged in at home. Now if you have multiple computers that connect using Ethernet cables, well then you're going to introduce a switch into your network. And the switch is going to allow us to have data sent from one computer. It's going to read that data and then forward it on to the appropriate computer that's on the network. Now every computer on our network actually has a different address called a MAC address that separates every other address from every other computer on our network. And that's built into the network card itself. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at some of this hardware that we have. And so let's start by looking at this Ethernet cable. I mentioned that we have Ethernet cables that connect our computers to the switch. The Ethernet cable is actually made up of twisted wires. And the twisted pair cabling comes in different categories. We have category 5, which is the older and, and still around, but it's not as common. We have an enhanced version of it called 5E, and then we also had a have a category called CAT6, which are all Ethernet cables. They just operate or can operate at different speeds. And so we would typically find those. If you look closely at your Ethernet cable, you should be able to read what category it belongs to, whether it's 5, 5 or 6. And those are the typical ones we would find on our local area networks. Now the plug itself is an RJ45, and it's a little bit wider than the old telephone plugs. And that's what plugs into the back of the network card or plugs into the switch itself to allow and make that connection. So let's take a look at this network card. The network card is either going to be embedded on your motherboard or it's going to be an expansion card as you see here which is going to allow our computer to be able to network. And you can see here's where the RJ45 jack is which allows us to plug in our Ethernet cable. Now the MAC address is actually part of or the physical address is actually part of this network card and every network card out there has a unique MAC address. And that's what separates our computers or gives them all unique identifications within our network itself. And we can communicate using a protocol which is just a standard called Ethernet and these devices can then all communicate back and forth and be able to distinguish each other by using MAC addresses. So let's go ahead and go back to our network itself. We can also introduce wireless instead of using the wired option and we can use a device called an access point to send out wirelessly. Again, for those that are at home, you typically would use your router to send data wirelessly because it will act as an access point for you as well. And so the access point in our business will give us the ability to take the data, send data wirelessly from the access point to any device that we have that's wireless capable. Now the standard for local area networks when it comes to wireless is called Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi is typically written down as 802.11 and then some other letter depending on the speed and capabilities of that Wi-Fi itself. And so that's the technology we use wirelessly for local area networks. Now let's go over a recap of what we've talked about here on the local area network. A LAN is just a network can usually confined to a building or to a workplace. Some of the hardware we would typically find on our network for physical media would be the switch, which switches allow us to connect multiple computers, whether it's two computers or hundreds of computers together on the same local area network. We've also talked about the Ethernet cable, which could be any of the categories, Cat5, 5, 5 or 6, that allow us to plug in our computer to the switch itself so that they all can communicate together. Now that protocol that they use on a local area network is called Ethernet. And protocols are just a set of standards that they use to communicate back and forth. 
we also had the MAC address, which separates all of our computers from each other on our local area network. And they communicate by sending data to other MAC addresses. So that allows us to send data from one computer to another computer and identify the correct computer to be used. And most local area networks usually cap out somewhere right around 100. However, we can introduce quite a few more computers to the network if we desired to do that. And also the wireless communication, if we wanted to have wireless in our local area network, we typically use a standard called Wi-Fi, which is the 802.11 standard. And so this is the basic introduction to your local area networks. In the next video, I'll talk about internetworks, which will allow us to take local area networks and connect them together.